I do a lot of build challenges in The Sims 4, as I'm sure you've probably noticed. One of those being the 10 minute build challenge. The idea is that you try and build a house in just 10 minutes. Oftentimes it's not very good because, you know, you only have 10 minutes. But I was thinking, what if you had an hour? So if we tried to build the same house in just 10 minutes and then in an hour, how much better could it be with like significantly more time? So that's what we're gonna try and do today. The 10 minute versus one hour build challenge. But first, we got new merch. We have this adorable Boo Crew neck in two colors and a Boo keychain available right now on lilsimsyshop.com. I'm so excited about this. It's a little embroidered ghost. Isn't it so cute? Genuinely, I am obsessed with this. So if you wanna get one too, I'll have it linked down below. I mean, how could you pass this up? Look at that little guy. Anyway, let's sim. Okay, so I'm thinking we should try and do a two-story house. Small lot though, because we only have 10 minutes. I know this picture is not very good, but I feel like it encompasses the idea. It's not a very big house, but it's kind of challenging to build. It sort of has like a hidden second story, so it won't be easy to do in 10 minutes. Big porch, kind of farmhouse-y almost. I don't know. This is my concept. Now let's see if we can pull it off. <laughs> okay, we got 10 minutes on the clock. Go. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't really think this through. No, there's there's literally no way that I can pull this off in just 10 minutes. I It's a good thing we're going to do it again with an hour because this was probably a mistake. <laughs> I should have like had myself test it out more or something for a second before I started building. Oh, big mistake. Big mistakes were made, my friends. Okay, so here's the problem. And this is why I was kind of worried because we want to basically hide the house in the roof, right? Like we want to have a nice second story, but we want it to be in the roof. Now that's good and all, that's super fun. We love it. However, <laughs> when you only have 10 minutes, doing a complicated roof is not a good idea. Who would have thought, right? I mean, <laughs> never saw that one coming. Yeah, so this may have been a mistake, but we'll figure it out. It'll be fun. Okay, so there's the front. I kind of wish that the roof was a little bit different, but it's done now. So <laughs> nothing more can be done there. Oh my God, we also have like no time to make adjustments. Like if we decide we don't like it, well, too bad. Oh, and I didn't even put my cheats on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, 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 okay. I should have just had the base game installed or something. That's another thing I should have done. If I was thinking, I would have done that because then um, this would be easier. <laughs> it's like having too many things to scroll past is a problem. Does that make sense? I mean, yes, it does. Okay, um, that should be fine. We need to make sure we get like a, a fully functional house. I should stop worrying about how the outside looks and spend more time trying to make sure the house functions on the inside because that's what matters when it comes to a 10 minute build challenge. I say that and now I'm putting down like stuff on the outside again. <laughs> well, we need to have a front door, so that's fine. Why can't I find one that I want to use? Oh my God, mistake, mistake, mistake were made, mistake. Um. <laughs> Please help. Oh no, I don't even know what I've done. I can't find a door to use. Okay, that's fine. So here's what I'm thinking. Maybe the kitchen can be in there. Upstairs, we could have like a bedroom, a bathroom, a bedroom, a bathroom. Oh, that's fine. One can have an ensuite. Okay. I kind of wish that uh, it wasn't a three bedroom, two bathroom house, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know, the, it, what's done is done. We only have six minutes. So <sighs> possibly in the future when we redo this, with more time, we can change our minds. But for now, why did I put that in the wrong spot? I feel like I can't even move the windows. Like I don't have time to move the windows. Okay, I don't have a door to the back of the house either. That's fine. All right, let's make sure we get all the functional things. At least one of the bathrooms needs to, oh no. <laughs> At least one of the bathrooms needs to have everything. Maybe that can be a half bathroom. And you know what else? Both of the rooms with the nicest windows are bathrooms. Very poorly done layout on this one. Very poorly done. Okay, bathroom, bathroom, double bed. Oh, picked a big one. I feel like I made a big mistake. <laughs> okay, the bedroom's done. The bedroom, or the bedroom works. Let's just make sure like all the rooms have stuff. Like I said, we're just making sure all the rooms have stuff. It's all that matters right now. Uh, kids room. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that works. Bathroom tile, sure, sure. We'll want to have like a fence and probably a railing on the stairs. Oh, I only have four minutes. <laughs> this was a big mistake. No, why did I pick that color counter? Oh, it's too late to change it as well. There's, with a challenge like this, there's no time for adjustments. What's done is done. I need a kitchen sink. I need a microwave, maybe a plant. Okay. <laughs> this is so 
unbelievably ugly. It's almost like I didn't try. Like, I feel like if you looked at this, you'd be like, oh, she didn't, she was pretending to try. But I am trying. It's just hard. Oh, I can't pick anything. Oh my god. Okay, I need to get that. I need to get a coffee table. I need to get a couch. Oh, I should have moved them. Okay, and then put a TV on that. And then you want to get a dining table. Probably just a small one in the corner. Oh my god, why is the chair- why did I do that? Stop. Okay, maybe like that. That's fine. If we could just get a rug, that would be really good too, because then there would be something in the living room to like sort of organize it. Sure, maybe a big plant. Plant. Two and a half minutes. Oh my god, the house functions. However, there's nothing on the outside. So let's spend some time doing that. Okay, porch. <laughs> this is so bad. It's so bad. Okay, can I maybe get like some paint? Roof trim's a good touch. Roof color, good touch. Don't forget a piece. Paint the whole house a uh, color, like, um, green. Make it green. Panic, panic. Okay, that's getting somewhere. Possibly maybe some trees. I still have two minutes. Tree. Tree. Why did I put him like that? Oh, fail. That- that was- that- <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, it's actually kind of funny. Let's be honest. You- this is kind of funny. I mean, it's real bad, but it's kind of funny that it's this bad. Oh, we forgot about the necessities. We need a trash can. There's not one inside, so we need to put one outside. And then a mailbox. And then perhaps porch lights? Uh, they're necessities. Chest table. Uh... If we could just line up some pretty flowers, that would be so nice. Okay, and then terrain paint? Uh, I didn't put like anything else in the, the rooms. So maybe if I could find a couple extra decorations, that would be really nice. Books? Lamps? Ah, I don't know what to put. I'm like panicking. Do I have time to get a dresser? No, it doesn't fit. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Do I, can I, uh, no. Oh, that's horrible and loud. Okay, it's fine. It, that's clipping a little bit, but it's fine. 10 minutes. This could be better. Well, besties, let's see if we can do better than that. <laughs> because I don't even want to look at it up close. We just gotta do a redo on the next lot because I'm embarrassed. I also, I forgot that I was gonna try and make it have a white siding somehow. How I forgot that, I'm not sure, but whatever. Let's try and build this again, but with an hour because we will not have to rush at all <laughs> if we have more time. So let's just begin. Okay. So everything that we did before was bad. I think the house could probably even be a little bit smaller this time around. I would be totally fine with that. Cause I would like to have a bit of a backyard, but maybe we can just have it be further forward on the lot, like a really small front yard. And then upstairs, that's really small. Maybe I should make it a, like one tile bigger. I think that'll be good. Okay. Now all things considered, I don't think we did so bad with the roof. <laughs> Like, that could have been a lot worse. I'm honestly, like, a little bit impressed with myself for what we managed to pull off with the roof there in such a short amount of time. I think I might make the house a little bit skinnier. Here's what I'm thinking. I think I'd rather the front door space be two wide instead of three wide. So, like, when we pick the porch stuff, you'll walk up in, like, a little two wide space instead of a three wide one. Because it's a small house, like, I'd kind of want to embrace that. And then we could have, like, a four wide thingy in the front here. I just feel like that would be better. Plus, the wider thing in the front means that like this could probably be a bigger space for a bedroom or something which we kind of need okay i might scoot it over on the lot kind of far and then put on the side over here some sort of bump out we're gonna fill up the entire lot <laughs> these houses are so close together but something to make it bigger and then we could totally have a chimney or something i mean that's the perk of this we have a lot more time we can do a lot more stuff to make more details it already looks like a completely different house <laughs> okay let's do some brick wait i like this house House. Okay, I know I build this sort of shape of house a lot. I think it's because I long to live in a house like this. <laughs> I like daydream about it, okay? I just think that these kind of craftsman houses are so pretty. So I will keep building them in The Sims. You can't stop me. Yeah, I think I might scoot it back one more. I'm not sure about the like super tiny front yard. Three tiles is better than the two. Something else that I've noticed I do a lot when I'm making super fast houses, like those 10 minute build challenges, is that they end up being really expensive. And I think it's because when I'm trying to make the house so fast, there's just like not time to care about budget. I'm just like panic building. So just whatever, grab whatever works. And then it ends up being a lot of times really expensive, which is weird because you'd think that these like little tiny houses would be cheap, but no. Sometimes they're like 30,000 simoleons and one bedroom. But then when you actually have time to like dig through the catalog and pick stuff, it's a lot easier to make a budget house because you know, 
you can think about the budget. <laughs> okay, I feel like we should use a similar front door sort of vibe to the other one. Maybe I'll pick different windows though, because I wasn't a big fan of the ones that I ended up with before. No, I think that's so cute. All right, and then say I wanted to have a bathroom like here behind the staircase. Mm, that's way bigger than I want it to be. Maybe I should try and make the staircase like a, a wraparound one. Should there be like a special entryway into the house? I mean, that's pretty realistic. A lot of times when I'm making small houses, I try to not put like a, a little entryway. I'll often have the door open straight into the living room because when the house is so small, I feel like it's nice to prioritize like spacious rooms over like formal entries, but this could be cute. Okay, this is a little bit weird, but hear me out. <laughs> I'm thinking that we could do like a living room in here. This becomes a kitchen. This is a dining room. And this is like a little, I guess just a hallway. <laughs> it's just part of the entry. Bathroom. Let me grab some counters so I can think about this more. But like imagine the kitchen counters are like this. Hmm. <laughs> um, let me use the same flooring we had before. So maybe I'll just put down some more furniture so I can think about the layout. I'm kind of avoiding thinking about this back patio because it's stressing me out. I would really like to use this. I think I really want to have a fireplace. I don't know which fireplace, but I think I want to have a fireplace. Isn't that pretty though? Just the problem that I'm facing <laughs> is where do you put the door to the outside? I feel as though it would make sense if there was like two doors, but then I feel like this is sad looking. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. I feel like we should prioritize the interior over the exterior and like the doors being even. Well, and we could also have the stairs down the side of this. It doesn't have to be centered in the middle. And that original photo we looked at had the entrance like that. So that could make sense. <sighs> You know, it's a good thing I have an hour because I got no idea what I'm trying to do with this. Um, maybe I'll do it like that and we'll just have the little door like to the side. I wish the door was taller. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that it's not. There is a door that I use a lot for this purpose. It's from university. It's a medium wall height door, but it looks like it could be a short wall height door. It's like just a tiny smidge above short wall height. Sometimes I use that even though it clips a little bit. I mean, you can't see it upstairs anyway, but sometimes I feel like that's worth it because it works. Why, why is it like that. Why isn't it just a smidge smaller? No sense. Oh, the stairs. <laughs> the stairs disappeared. Okay. Well, and then upstairs. I'm not really sure what the best way to do this is. This house is not laid out very well. So here's kind of what I'm picturing right now. And well, we can, we can change the roof so it doesn't clip at all as well. To do this, you're going to want to make the roof in quite a few pieces, <laughs> but it makes a big difference when it doesn't have that like line over it. And it's not like we're in a rush. So, all right, here's what I'm thinking though. It's two bedrooms upstairs and the bedrooms are on like either corner of this wall. This becomes a tiny little half bathroom. There is an ensuite bathroom and a closet off of it for the parents. Or maybe it could be the opposite. Like you walk into the closet and then into the bathroom. Oh, that makes more sense. Closet, bathroom, parents room. I feel like that could be cute and it splits up the space well. Oh, I think this is nice. I mean, it could probably be done a little bit differently, but it's cute. And believe it or not, the chimney is actually in the same place as the fireplace. That's basically a miracle for a little Simsy build. Now, should we use the white siding like we originally planned? I think so. Oh, I forgot to paint part of the outside. See, this is what happens. <laughs> If this was a 10 minute challenge, that wouldn't have gotten painted. Something else I kind of wanted to do was make sure that we had some trim on the roof. Basically, I want to have a piece like right there on either side. Oh, perhaps smaller than that. Just to the corner. Yep. Oh no, not a wall. <laughs> No, why does it have to be so complicated? There, okay, like that. Oh, okay, like that. The lighting in The Sims 4 is weird again. Have you noticed that it gets like really dark in rooms when you add windows to them? It like glitches out or something. Okay, I'm gonna do the bathrooms now. The toilet is like in front of the window to a fault. Imagine standing up to pee right there. That's a good thing that I don't have that problem. Your Sims will be fine. Look, we even have time for towels. <laughs> and toilet paper. This is big. So when I said half bathroom upstairs, by that I mean just a toilet and a sink. You might call it like a powder room or something, but the room's really small. So I don't really want to like sneak a shower in there. I feel like it's not worth it, but it's still nice to have like a functional bathroom upstairs if they need to like pee in the night. And I guess that would probably be your guest bathroom as well. Like if you had guests over, they would like be sort of hanging out in this part of the house and then sneak upstairs to use the toilet. It's not that deep. It's the Sims. <laughs> your guests are gonna to use any bathroom. Mm, 
none of the rugs work how I want them to. Too big, too small. Okay, that rug could be the right size, but I don't like the swatches. <laughs> Maybe I like that swatch. Ooh, I'm gonna bring a sim here so I can change the light color. Lovely weather, huh? I can fix that. Wait for it, wait for it. Beautiful, okay. <laughs> now, if only you could change the color of lights in build mode. For now, we will have to use this. There we go. Well, now we have a budget to worry about. Don't worry, we're not gonna stick to the budget. It's just because the sim's here. <laughs> I don't like this room. Okay, we're just about halfway through the challenge and I feel like I'm about halfway done with the house. So maybe that worked out well. We actually have a lot to do still, but I'm I'm not that concerned yet. This kitchen actually feels pretty practical. We could put a coffee bar. Um, I didn't really leave space for a trash can anywhere. Yeah, maybe it's not very practical. I just got done saying it was, maybe it's not. I think that's pretty. I feel like I shouldn't put much more clutter in here though, because we want to make sure they have space to cook. I have a bad habit of <laughs> filling up everything and then there not being any space for cooking. I don't know what wallpaper to use. <laughs> I'm confused. I want it to be cute, but there's not space for a coat rack. Oh my goodness. We could probably hang one up on the wall. The room is not very big though. <laughs> so there's not a lot of space for decorations in this hallway. Okay, so we can use any couch we want. I do like this one because I like that it's a bit more formal looking. I'm not really sure what color of it to use, but in general, I feel like the house is a little bit formal. I don't like the swatches. I literally always go back to this one, but the paranormal stuff couch is so good. Oh, before I forget, we should put rocking chairs on the porch too. But anyway, this paranormal stuff pack has such good furniture in it. That couch is just so cute. Like you can't argue with it. It's a fact. The rug, I don't know what to do with. <laughs> the rug, that part has stumped me. The rug I am unsure about. Oh, this one's a good size, but I'm not gonna use like black and white polka dots, am I? No. Oh, I kind of like that one. Maybe if we used like these paintings from cats and dogs, I don't know in what colors. <laughs> I guess I always use these, but they are just objectively nice colors and it kind of matches the room. I think I I like that. The one problem is that there's not really space for a TV. Oh, we're out of money. Hang on. Milestone complete. But like the TV is up so high. <laughs> if we put it there, maybe they don't have a TV. A whole hour to build this and I can't even fit a TV. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish the fireplace was shorter. I can just picture it already. R slash TV too high is like shaking right now. They're so angry at me for this. Okay, we only have 20 minutes. I probably should hurry up. I'm, I'm sitting here acting like I have all the time in the world, but I don't really. I think I might make you walk through an office space to get to the rest of the house. I wasn't gonna do this originally, but I do think it would be a good idea just because it's a good use of the space, right? Like it's nice to have a little formal office space. And what else am I gonna put in here? Like an, a plain bookshelf and nothing else? Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's worth having the office. If I could figure out what chair to put at it. You know what? I might honestly do that one. <laughs> I think it's cute. <gasps> we could do wallpaper. It's a small room, so it's not too busy. Maybe I should pick a different chair though. Ooh, I really like that actually. I think that's cute. I think that's the downstairs done. I haven't really touched the outside yet, but maybe I should finish the upstairs first. Like at the very least, we want to have bedroom furniture, right? So <laughs> maybe we should prioritize that. No, not that one. Maybe we could try for one of the new swatches on this bed. I don't like this bed. <laughs> I don't like the swatches they added. This bed has never appealed to me. I kind of like this place. This room feels relaxing to me. It's almost like kind of coastal. Does that make sense? Maybe it doesn't make sense. This house is definitely not coastal. <laughs> oh, I only have 15 minutes. Sorry. Oh no. I have such a bad habit of like getting cocky about this kind of thing. Like I'm sitting here acting like I have all the time in the world. You don't have all the time in the world, Kayla. You're actually like literally running out of time as we speak. Okay, let's hang up the clothes. Walk-in closet. Okay, the kids' bedroom. I want to use these new pink curtains. <laughs> this is a new swatch update and I want to use it. Mm, not that one. That one? <gasps> Ooh, cute. Okay, that can work. If I want to have a dresser and a desk, <laughs> we are going to have a hard time fitting that. Okay, we don't get toys. Maybe it's a teenager's room, so we don't need any toys. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. I actually like it in there. I think it's kind of cute. I mean, we could put like a, a bear. It is possible. Aww. Okay, I want a fish tank. <laughs> I know this is silly, but I don't know what else to put up here. And I like the idea of this thing. Ooh, bathroom does not fit very well. Door is kind of blocked by the fish, but that's okay. A plant. A plant and a fish. Okay, that's the interior done. And see, we still have as much time as we had for the whole first one. We have 11 minutes. That's actually not a lot of time. I kind of need to hurry up. If we think we're gonna have landscaping, it is time to hurry up. Oh, I love the color of those flowers. I think that's pretty. I kind of want to like mix and match in a couple other flowers. I don't think that that's unreasonable. Okay. Oh, we should use the same trees that they have. We'll put this one in 
instead. Yeah, that looks better than my two even symmetrical trees on the other side. So embarrassing. I don't think I've ever successfully landscaped a 10 minute build challenge house, which to be fair, 10 minutes is not a lot of time for landscaping. It's still embarrassing though. <laughs> <laughs> Can't deny that. I like it. I do think the flowers look a little bit small, but maybe I'm just used to using bigger flowers in my builds because I always do like the big bushes and stuff instead. So I think I want to keep these because I'm trying to branch out. I'm not very good at that though, but I think that's really nice. Maybe we swap the rocking chairs to be on this side. Okay, now we need to like mad rush to finish the backyard. I kind of want to do it like this. I think it'd be cute if we had like a little, I don't know, arch something. And then we just take some of the flowers from the front yard and use them again back here. Should we do it like over here too? Or is that weird? Mm, six minutes is not a lot of time, Kayla. You got to make a decision. <laughs> okay, put the tree back there. I think if it's next to the tree, it's probably fine. Oh, why don't any of the metals match anything? Okay, let's use those. Oh, did I put a trash can? We don't have an outdoor trash can. A whole hour and I almost forgot a trash can. Obviously, chest table. <laughs> Don't worry, I would never forget a chess table. Okay, I might even say we're done. Is that a bold statement? Maybe I should put like a grill and stuff because we have the time. Okay, grill, some outdoor seating. I might do a ceiling light back here. Yeah, I think we can be done. The 10 minute versus 56 minute build challenge. <laughs> okay, look at how sad the landscaping looks next door. I'm so embarrassed. So here's the finished product. They're both two bedroom houses. I think they're actually both two bedroom, three bathroom houses as well. The only difference is that this one actually has furniture. You walk in, there's an entryway, an office, living room, dining room, kitchen, bathroom. It's kind of a weird layout. You have to like walk in a circle to get through everything. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then upstairs, there's two bedrooms, even a closet and two more bathrooms. It has a fully furnished patio. I will stick this one on the gallery if you want to download it, but I think that we should go and tour the one next door. I kind of forgot what it looked like, <laughs> so now I don't even want to see. Okay, so here's the outside. Same shape of the roof, by the way. Little bit smaller upstairs. Same kind of bushes, different swatch. Nothing in the backyard, except for a trash can in the middle of the backyard. I kind of forgot I did that too. There isn't even stairs off the back porch back here. So the backs are very different as you can see. But on the inside, I guess it's kind of a similar layout. We sort of swapped the kitchen and bathroom on this house. Um, it's functional. And this one has a TV, so that's that's a big deal. That's cool. Uh, upstairs looks like this. Honestly, there's more furniture than I thought there was gonna be. Although this bathroom downstairs is kind of silly. <laughs> this one kind of makes me laugh. But all the rooms with the best windows are bathrooms for some reason. Makes no sense. But that's what happens when you only have 10 minutes. Your brain doesn't think straight. You just furnish. So let me know in the comments, which one do you think is better? The one where we had six times the amount of time to build it? <laughs> or the one where you only had 10 minutes? No, I'm just kidding. It is kind of fun to see the same house built in two different amounts of time. I mean, we would have been able to do the same thing on this one if we had like a little bit more time. I honestly think that I could have built a house like this maybe in like 30 minutes. I would have been rushing a lot more, but I think it's doable. If you like this video, let me know. We could always try like a one hour versus like five hours kind of thing with a mansion build at some point too, because I could totally live stream that on Twitch. It's gonna take a lot longer to make, but it'd be interesting to see what you could do with like a mansion with two different time constraints, you know, or at least a bigger lot. This this one's easy because there's not much to fill up. Remember, by the way, lilsimsyshop.com if you want your very own ghost sweater. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. You know what? I am so excited. I am so excited about this boo sweater and the keychain. I think they are so cute. I want this so bad for me, which I think is how you make good merch. Like, if I want it, like, if I want it, it means other people will too, right?